Okay guys, I am back with probably one of the most daunting part of my declutters yet, my lip products. I recorded one part which I thought would be a good starting point and it it wasn't. So I decided the best way, because I was unsure how to break it up, I'm going to break it up into sections. Today I'm going to do my lip pencils, lip glosses, potted lip glosses, and chubby sticks. And then for the lipsticks, I think I'll probably break it up either into maybe brands or high-end, low-end. I don't know. That's the part that had me the most unsure of how it's going to do it, is breaking it up. So I decided let's just get started today and see where we get to. I will say I do keep some of my lip products. I'm either testing out new or my faves over at my everyday lip, my everyday makeup area. So if there's some products that you don't see that you're curious about, they're probably over there. If you want to ask, you can. I may have gotten rid of it. Who knows? So let's just get started with this area because I don't know. Okay, these are my potted lip balms. Um, I have to say, out of one area of my lip life, I think this is probably the most um, condensed section. A lot of these I've had for a really long time. They've been hard for me to get rid of, and I'm just going to make myself do it today. So to start off with, we have these um, L'Oreal Hip Jelly Balms. If you have been in the makeup world a while, then you know how old these are. I'm going to get rid of them. They were so nice. Um, they were like MAC Tender Tones when MAC Tender Tones came out the first time. But I'm just going to get rid of them. I have three of those. I have this light pink one, this orangey one, and a reddish one. They are old. They need to be gotten rid of. Okay, let's see. This Hello Kitty MAC Lip Conditioner in Pink Fish. It was so pretty and I loved it. And I just wouldn't use it because who knows. So I'm going to get rid of this back to MAC it. And this is another MAC Tender Tone. This came out when they first came out in Shush, the green one. It was so pretty, and I just hoarded it like a nasty hoarder. So I'm going to get rid of it because it is old. I mean, it is. And then lastly, I have these two sleek pout polishes, and they are not really old. I'm going to keep them. The Soap and Glory Great Kisser. This is a Coors um, Jasmine Lip Butter. It's not that I I need to use it. NARS Chelsea Girls, I need to use, and a Nivea Lip Butter. So I'm going to keep those, so I'm getting rid of five. So that's pretty good. Okay, next let's start with these lip glosses. So this morning before we ever started this, I pulled all my lip glosses out of my lip drawer because they were not in this container to start with. And I have it divided into higher end and drugstore these little steely ones I did have to stick in there. And this is the overflow. My goal right now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, is to at least be able to get everything into that. If I can get everything into that, then I am happy. I would like to be down to one because lip gloss does go bad fast. And, you know, I have to say, in my time, this is probably the least amount of lip gloss I've ever had. So, I'm feeling pretty good there. Okay, so let's just start with these. This is a Revlon Super Lustrous one. Um, I'm going to get rid of it. It's old. These little L'Oreal Le Glosses. I just don't like them. I did enjoy these three colors, but they're old. They're quite a few years old. And they're kind of like this one. This one's not as old. It's rosy demeanor, but... I don't need it. I just, I'm going to get rid of these. Okay. This MAC lip glass in Oh My Darling, I hauled not all that long ago. But do you see? I mean, I hauled it when it came out. I haven't even used this that much. But do you see, like, the separation? And it's, like, oily looking in there. I don't know. It's gross. So I'm going to get rid of it. Okay. These are my Maybelline Color Elixirs most of them and my two YSL glossy stains I do enjoy these so I'm keeping these and as far as the Maybelline color elixirs I'm gonna keep I think all of these for now we even start 
Where do we even start? Okay, let's start on the high-end one. Okay, this is a MAC from the Archie's Girls and Stay Sweet. It is just not a color I really like. I don't love the MAC lip glasses. I used to like them a lot more. So I'm just going to get rid of this. You know, you got to start somewhere. Okay, this is also a MAC lip jelly that came in a holiday collection a long time ago. I am going to put this aside. I'm going to smell it. Let me just go ahead and do that now. Okay, I tested it out. I even put some on, and it seems to be okay. And it's a pretty color. I can use it up, so I'm going to keep it. This one is also from that set. I'm going to keep it as well. Okay, so all I need to fit in here are these. Okay, because I'm going to keep high-end in this one. Okay, so this makes me feel a little bit better. Okay, this MAC Orange Tempura. I do like it, okay, but I think I'm going to get rid of it. You know, i got to get rid of something, and I think I'm going to get rid of it. Because it is a little hard to wear. I'm not going to lie. This is so hard. This is so much harder than I thought it would be. I don't want to get rid of any of these. Um, Like, all of these I really like. So, let me see. Let me see how much room I need. Okay, so all that's left in this container that doesn't fit are these two little lip jellies, the glossy stains, and this Jouer. The Jouer I could fit right there. Um, I'm going to have to say, I don't think this is bad for, for me. Um, not the best situation, but out of high end, I've gotten rid of three Macs, so yay me. So I'm going to have to say, this is good. This is probably going to be the worst declutter you've seen because it's going to be hard for me to part with these lip products. So let me move this out of the way and then we'll do the drugstore. Okay, here we are at drugstore. And to recap, we have already gotten rid of four products. But I want everything to fit in this container. But these elixirs, I know it's going to be hard because they're just, they're a really bulky shape. And I already have two in here. Okay, so let's just get started. I haven't even showed you this yet. Um, it's one of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. And I got it in the shade Tokyo recently. And I don't like this color. I love these products. I have it in Transylvania. I love these. If you have any, I know Jackie has told me a few that she has. And I I looked at some of them. But I, I guess I just, I'm not feeling spring summer things right now. So I'm probably going to get rid of Tokyo. I don't know. I just... I wasn't in love with it. Same thing with these. These are those um, Rimmel Show Off, like the Apocalypse. I have a orangey one and a nude one. I'm going to put those with the maybes because I don't know. Same thing as this Bonnie Bell Lip Lights in Strawberry. Um, you know what I'm going to do? My daughter is really into playing with play makeup. I'm going to give this one to her because it smells so good. And that's really the only reason I keep hanging on to it. So I'm going to give that to her. Okay, um, I have two of these little All Made products, and they're not bad. A Revlon, this is my Chroma one. This is that Revlon, um, that really weird color stay, moisture stain. These are the Stila ones. This, I can get rid of. It's the Flower, I think it's like Petal Pusher lip gloss. I'm going to get rid of that. I don't ever reach for it. Um... These are those cover girl ones I picked up recently. I do really like. This is a Berry M. It is pretty, but you know what? I'm going to get rid of it because it is old. And it's very similar to my Buxom Creamsicle. Some more Revlon ones that I like. A Maybelline. This is a Tanya Burr. These are my um, NYX Butter Glosses I like so much. Okay, so let me try out those three maybes, and then we'll see where we're going to stand. Okay, out of these, I'm going to get rid of this Rimmel Nude one, which is funny because it's the one I thought I would probably keep. I'm going to keep the NYX Tokyo because it is such a me color. It's just hard to get into it right now because it's out of season. And this Rimmel, the peachy one, which is, let me see what the shade is. The shade Luna. I put it on. And looking at myself close up, I don't like it. But at a distance, I think it looks nice. So I'm going to keep it for now. So, 
Let's see how many of these fit in there. Okay, a whole whopping two of them. So then I have three left out. Um, that's not bad. I'm not going to feel bad about this because so far, drugstore, I've gotten rid of this many. So not bad. One I'm giving to my daughter. Okay. Um, I think before I get done, I'm going to go through these elixirs and make sure I want to keep them all. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and keep all the elixirs. I just, I really like them. So we have this little situation right now. Um, not the worst, not the best. So next up, we are going to do lip liners. And lip liners are something really new to me. I have just recently started getting into them. But I want to go through them and make sure there's none that I want to get rid of. So let me pull a few out and we'll get started. Okay, for somebody that hasn't been into lip liners long, I sure have amassed quite a few of them. Okay, these are my MAC ones. These are the pencils, and these are like the twist-up ones. Um, I will tell you, I like the pencils so much more. I don't think I'm going to probably getting rid of any of these because they're all, like, this is a really hot pink. This is a baby pink. This is that brownish color. This is an orange, which I don't really know why I have it, but, you know, I have sore, subculture, spice, whirl this really dark night moth one and then this pink one from the beach called life's a breeze it's a really pretty pink one too i just i don't think that's too bad i still want to get oak maybe another one i don't know and then these i have um a red a pink and a nude so i don't really want to get rid of any of these i told y'all Forewarning, this is probably going to be the least impressive declutter video. I mean, it, it, all these lip products, they are just going to be that way. Okay, here we are with the remaining ones. Remaining? Remaining? I don't even know what I'm saying. This is the number seven Boots Nude. This is my Too Faced Clear one. This is NYX. Um... I think in Jewel, this is uh, CoverGirl Red Red. It's the only just true red I have, so I'm going to keep it. This is that Jordana Cabernet. I mean, I need a dark one. Okay, Urban Decay Naked, Urban Decay Wicked, NYX Pell Pink. This is a Sephora Candid Candy. Well, I'll get rid of this. I don't need that. I'm not being really, you know, proactive, but I will get rid of that one. Um, NYX, I mean, not NYX, Rimmel Tiramisu, I love. Chanel Natural, I love. This is that Too Faced Perfect Nude. It is okay. I will not repurchase it. This is Sephora Native Nude and Rimmel Easton Snob. This and Tiramisu were the only lip liners I had for a long time. So, I got rid of one lip liner. Oh, not the best. But, you know, somebody said recently in a declutter video, one is better than none. So, uh, I'm going to take that. Okay, these are my chubby sticks. I do, I did see I have this little, um, I don't know, it's one of those like Asian or something cosmetic brands, Tony Moly maybe, a toot house, that's what it is, cupcake lip balm that had just rolled over here. Okay, these are my chubby sticks, and I really love chubby stick pencils. They are some of my favorite lip products. However, I know there are some in here that I do not wear. I know there are. So we're going to go through these together and try to weed out some that are not, you know, a must-have. And in case somebody... I don't know, cares. I do these very, very informally. I just kind of decide when I'm cleaning to grab my camera and film. So I hope that like my pajama pants and no tripod, you know, I hope it doesn't bother you. Okay, I have two of these Chroma Beauty joysticks. I think they're called. I have a coral one and a baby pink one. And I just, I don't love them. They kind of go on patchy and I wasn't in love with them. So I'm going to get rid of that. 
as well as this Revlon Balm Stain and Crush. This color I thought would be like give me life because I love colors like that. But all it does on my lips is turn hot pink. So I'm going to get rid of that. So that's three good ones. Okay, the rest, these are going to be hard. Um, this one I let my daughter wear on Halloween night. It's one of the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balms in Shameless. Um, ugh, I, I don't like it on me. I'm going to get rid of it. On camera right now, it looks like a more pretty berry, but it's just, it's purple, purple. So I'm going to pass on that. Um, these are my NARS lip pencils. I'm not going to get rid of any of these. I do love these. Um, I'm going to keep those. Strangely, these CoverGirl ones. The only downside with them is once you take off the wrapping, you don't know the names. But I really like these. They have been quite nice. So I'm going to keep them. I'm looking at two of them to make sure I don't have um, duplicates. I really like this. This dark one, I wore the heck out of it last winter. Okay, some of these CoverGirl ones, I mean not CoverGirl, the Revlon, the really hot pink ones, I think, do I really need that many hot pinks? But then a lot of time, you know, like you really want that hot pink lip. It doesn't come often for me, but sometimes I do. So I'm not going to get rid of those. The MAC Chubby Sticks are fabulous. Um, this Bobbi Brown one is new. The Tarte ones I like. So I don't think... This is my only bite product that I don't love. It's Syrah. It's just okay to me. Um, I'll keep it. I can use it up, but it is not that fabulous. I would not recommend it to anybody. Um, the only Clinique ones I have are those little sample size. I think I got like in a 500 point part from Sephora. So this is where this decluttering is going to end. So let me get the stack of everything I'm getting rid of. I'll put it together and we will look at it. Okay, so this is what I'm getting rid of. This is by far the least successful declutter, however I knew it would be. And it's going to just, it's probably going to be just as hard with the other lip stuff. So, you know, like I said, before this video, I had all this setting in my collection. Today, I don't. Um, I'm going to say, I did haul some lip products with the Sephora VIB sale, a few lip glosses, um... I don't think I have any other ones coming or anything. I'm thinking right now. So I'm going to have to put myself on a lip gloss ban. I am going to be doing... This year I did some like um, products I want to use up this year. Next year I'm going to be doing that as well. But I'm also going to have some kind of like use it up project. Or use up this many products before I can buy any more. I'm going to have some rules next year for sure. Right now I'm trying to do a little, little, little bit of a limited buy for the rest of the year. But... So, this is what I'm getting rid of. So, for these chubby sticks, these, that, all these, I'm giving that to my daughter, and those. So, I mean, I'm pretty pleased. My lip drawer, it's going to be doing a lot better because, you know, without all this in it. Oh, and I took out this other Rimmel, um, that. So, now I just have two things sitting on top of my drugstore lip products. Let me show you. Okay, these are my drugstore lip glosses. I only have two that are sitting on top. And then for my higher end, I just have four. So, I am pretty pleased with myself. Um, so, anyways, I hope you guys are still enjoying this. Um, it's going to be a little bit before you see the lip one again. Because, I don't know. I have to, like, prepare myself mentally. So, but thanks for watching, guys. Bye.